Hello and welcome. Welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you've been with me for a while. I really do appreciate you all. Today we are getting into a lavish bath box. Now, you guys know that this is one of my favorite boxes. What they have done is gone to quarterly instead of monthly. So it was about after like shipping and taxes and stuff it was about $50 a month and I didn't mind paying it because I always love the products uh, but now they are doing it quarterly and it's almost a hundred dollars quarterly we're about to see this is the first box so we are about to see if I feel like that's worth it or not because I mean technically it was five products a month for $50. So roughly $10 a product is what you're paying. And uh, so one would think for three months, you'd get like 15 products or maybe like 12 to 15 products. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see what's in here. We'll see if I feel like it's worth it. Uh, again, quarterly now. And they just started this in 2021. This is the very first quarterly box of 2021. And uh, we'll, I mean, it smells really good. I'm smelling it and it smells really good, but it, this box always smells really good. So let's see, uh, oh, just real quick, there are a couple of giveaways going on. Uh, there is the Alien Pellet giveaway and then there's also the 3K giveaway. So share, 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 <laughs> get me out there and let's get to 3K. Let's get into lavish, this box is really heavy. Now, if you don't remember, this box, uh, everything is made exclusively for this box, so it typically doesn't give prices. I open it up, and this is what I see. This is new. It's a booklet, spring 2021. I wonder if they give prices now. I'm not really seeing prices, so that kind of goes on cue with what god it something smells so good in here it uh goes on, right on trend is the word i was looking for with the way they've always done things but it does say like you read this is just like a synopsis of the product and then it also says you can read more in depth about this product on page blah 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 blah, blah. and i think that that is an interesting add to this box okay so the first thing i'm seeing is the Ambrosia Soap Company, and it's a coupon for 15% off. Now I can tell you they don't give these in boxes often, but they do give them. I think maybe I've gotten a total of five or six across the entire many years that I've been doing this box. So uh, just use the code LAVISH15. It's there if you guys are interested at all, but uh, basically you get a uh, reusable thingamaduchi and then you get the soap to put in the thingamaduchi so let's get into this all right so the first thing i'm pulling out is oh that's cool where's the lid though okay so here's the thing i gotta find the lid it's got to be in here somewhere and then here is the soap in mint julep i am not mad at that oh that smells so good Hmm, that's not what I'm smelling in this box, but that smells really good. I gotta find the lid to this though. That's uh, unusual for it not to have the lid like on it. Okay, let's see. The next thing I am pulling out is a bath salt soak. Not mad at that either. I like how it looks very organic, but it is safety sealed, so I'm not going to open it. Let's see if maybe I can read about it a little bit just to give an idea of. Okay, so it's Refreshing Complex Bath Salt Soak by Three Sisters Apothecary by Soap Cauldron. And it is a uh, Crispy Meyer Lemon Awakens the Body as Key Actives uh, of Agave Lemon Balm and Golden Seal Hydrate with Mineral Rich Ocean Epsom Salts to restore and revitalize. Okay, cool. The next thing I am pulling out is a, ooh, what's that say? Cornelia Street Whipped Soap. Let's see, is it, can I get it open? Oh, I can. Oh, that smells so good. 
Did I say it was whipped soap? Yep, it's whipped soap. And I just got it on the end of my nose. That smells so delicious. That's gonna go in my shower next. <laughs> the next thing I am pulling out is a bath bomb. Spring Fling Bath Bomb. And that's cute. Is that a real flower in there? No, it's just a carving of a flower. Well, it actually might be a little soap. You know what I mean? Oh, that smells really good. That might be what is like, I was gonna say aromacating. <laughs> That's not the right word. Uh, the aroma that is being put out from this box. I feel like maybe this is it. Oh, it smells so good. Let's see, the next thing I am pulling out is a uh, early, er, er, <laughs> uh, by Willa Bella, Earl Grey Lavender Vegan Bath Truffle. And so it looks like that. And it smells pretty good. It's not too heavy. I swear, I have words today. I really, really do. They're just not connecting from here to here. Um, it's not too heavy on the lavender, so I'm not mad at it. Usually if it's overwhelmingly lavender, it would give me a headache and I wouldn't be able to use it. But this just seems fine. The next thing I am pulling out is a lavish sugar scrub. Not mad at that either. Never mad at sugar scrubs. It smells okay. I can't, I can't place what the smell is, but um, I want to say, oh, this is, Handmade in Ohio. That's cool. Um, I want to say... Elderflower Blossoms. Yeah. I mean, it does have more of a florally smell. I don't know how well I'm going to like that smell on my body. Uh, it's not my favorite smell in the world. It's okay. So we'll see. Uh, oh, dig, dig, dig. Looky, looky. Okay. So the next thing I am pulling out is bathhouse soapery and cold car culture. <laughs> That's not even the word. It's a uh, calder. Cald <laughs> caldarium. I don't know. There you go. You figure that out. <laughs> Called Darium. Anyway, this is a, uh, it's a soap. It's a handmade soap. And can't really smell it through here, but it is all organic. So uh, I'm happy with that. It's cute packaging. All right. Uh, the next thing I am pulling out is Sweet Like Honey. Poppy and Pout Sweet Mint Lip Balm. It does have a safety seal on it, so I'm not going to open it. But you guys know how I feel about my lip balms. So I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, ooh, what's this? Lavish Bath Box. But what is this? I'm going to have to look this up because this looks like a doily. I don't know. Maybe it's a new type of a cloth, washcloth. But it, it looks like a pot holder <laughs> or a doily or something. Let me let me look. And it's a hand crocheted cleansing cloth. I would honestly. I mean, if if this just came to me in any other box, I would think that it was a, a pot holder. <laughs> Is that showing my age? I don't know if that's something I would want to use on my face. I don't know. I I'm not really an. I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next thing I'm pulling out is also Lavish Bath Box product, Luxury Bath Bomb in the shape of a ducky unicorn. So that's cute. And that also smells really good. Is that everything? Oh, okay. I was wondering where that was. And then there's the lid to, to the soap bottle. Okay, so let's see. We got a total of one, I consider that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got a total of 10 products. 
for three months. It's less than I would expect, but the stuff will last a really long time because of how big everything is. I mean, I could see this lasting a good six months. The whipped soap, was this it? I don't remember. Oh wait, this was the whip soap. This was the whip soap. I could see this lasting a month or two. And this was what I meant. The sugar scrub, I can see that lasting, you know, a good six months. And uh, the bath salt soak, I can see that probably lasting a month. Obviously not taking a bath every day or whatever, but even if you took a bath like once a week, I could see that lasting about a month. Soap, never mad at soap, never mad at lip products. So is this box, is the quarterly box worth the hundred dollars you're paying for it? Okay. So for me personally, I think that this box is worth it. We'll see as things move along. Uh, but this particular box, their first box, I think that this is worth it. The reason I think it's worth it is because I love this box and I typically love the products that come in it. Now, there were only two items in this box that I'm really not sure about. But I'm not mad at any of the other stuff at all by any means. So uh, I'm actually pretty happy with it and with it being quarterly. So technically what you're paying... With paying $100, you're paying for two months. I mean, I feel like you're kind of getting gypped a little bit because you're paying two months worth. And to get a deal for that, I feel like you should at least get three months worth of product. So like, you know, the typical box was five items in a box. And I just feel like for three months, there should be 15 items in a box, but then I'm torn because these items are so large. Um, like if all 10 items were, were like this size, I would probably have a bigger issue with it. But since we've got these big jars of things, I think that that kind of makes it even out. I don't know. What do you think? That's the only reason I'm really torn. And like this hand soap, that'll last six months. So I'm not mad at it. I'm not. I think I think even though there's two things in here that I'm kind of iffy about, whether or not I would like it or use it or whatever, um, I'm not mad at it. So to me, I think it's worth it, at least for this first box. We'll see how next, I was going to say, we'll see how next semester goes. We'll see how the next season goes, which would be summer season. So, uh have a great day. I hope I took you out of your space for a little while today and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.